uh, Oscar, a lot was made with the tank fight about rematch clauses, uh, rehydration clauses. Is there any of that in this fight? Zero. Zero whatsoever. So, if you think about it, if you think about it, both guys are going to be in great shape. Both guys are going to have no rehydration clause, no weight gain, this, that. It's going to be an even fight. It's going to be a continuation of their sixth fight they've had in the amateur so and I, look I, I watched both uh, all six fights man were they competitive I mean Devin Haney was coming in hard and Ryan Garcia was holding his own so it's it's an even rivalry which I'm looking forward to you've been a part of a lot of promotions yourself as a promoter and fighter some are kind of boring some are tumultuous this has been kind of a tumultuous one <laughs> all of a sudden what do you make of all this pre-fight buildup Look, I think both fighters are are are, um, are wanting to get it up on each other's neck. That's it. They want to go at it. They want to fight now. They're ready. Uh, it's exciting. Yeah, it is exciting to know that there's such huge interest. We started in New York, media capital of the world, and I mean, it was. I've never seen anything like it. I seriously think this is way bigger than uh, Tank versus... Do you think uh, it breaks Garcia. the pay-per-view of 1.2 million? Yes, it does. What, yes, what, it does. what would be a perfect number? 1.5? 1.5 would be great, uh, but this is, uh, this is this is a start of, uh, of maybe a trilogy. I think, I think that's the way it's going to go. Who knows? Maybe they fight five, six times like the amateurs. They really, really hate each other. They really have this animosity towards each other. And uh, I tell Ryan, I tell Devin, you gotta prove it in the ring. You're talking all this shit outside the ring, prove it in the ring. This is a promoter's dream, right? Working this kind of an event? Yeah, I mean, look, we're, we're used to working with, with big fighters and big events, and you know, um, this, is, this is obviously right up there, you know, my top, my top 10. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to sitting down uh, April, April 20th, at the Barclays, watching ringside and uh, and watching a great fight. How about you've been on fire so far? You started with this fight, then you have this fight. Before that, two rounds. Mark, you have the payout. Tell me about yeah. the schedule. Yeah, we're bringing uh, Virgil back, and uh, no, we're back. We're back. I'm I'm a, I'm on a serious serious mission. And uh, look, I've been in this business for 22 years now. When I'm serious, things happen. So so I'm I'm. Uh, I'm glad I'm back. Let's put it that way. I think that I think that um, I think that the whole boxing world and you know everyone that loves the game is gonna love the fact that we're gonna put the best against the best. That's all I want to do. I mean, I look. I I want to see Virgil Ortiz fight Terence Crawford. I want to see Tim Zhu come back over here and unify with you know whoever. I want to see the best versus the best. And this here is the best versus the best. <laughs> Mungia, he's, he's waiting for his opportunity, man. He's waiting for his opportunity. Look, we're, we're dealing with, with, with people, and uh, and his next fight will be uh, announced soon. But I truly feel the way I preached, I don't know, a couple years ago, Anelo Mungia, an all Mexican showdown. Uh, hopefully, we'll see it soon. What's stopping that fight from happening next? Look, Canelo holds all the cards. I, that's all I have to say. Is Canelo holds all the cards, and like, like you guys, I want to see Benavides Canelo. Yeah, it's great, but I also want to see Canelo Munguia because it'll be it's a hell fight. of a fight. It's a great action-packed fight. So any of those, we're, we'll all be happy. The fact that he looked. <laughs> yeah, they're all just trying to get into each other's head, you know. Does it work? Just talking shit, this, that. Does it work? Um, at that moment, it does because you get heated up. But then you go back to your camp, and, you know, you work on what you work on, you, you know, you spar, you train, and you get ready physically, mentally. So all this trash talk really doesn't matter. It's how you focus once you step inside that ring. Did, did the new? I want to see you at dinner. Tell me about that. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a start, right? So, uh, I, look, one thing about me is that I, all I want to do is make the best fights. That's it. That's the bottom line. That's why you're seeing me with Bob Arum, with Eddie Hearn. You're seeing me with Samson Michael. You're seeing, you're seeing me with everybody except Al Heyman. He's, 
nowhere to be found. But I would love to talk to him as well. So what I want to do is make sure that that we all come together because it starts with the promoters. We have the fighters. Let's fight each other. Let's let's you know let's make a round robin and and and, and, and figure out how we continue to grow the sport. It appears Canelo is a free agent again. What is your message to him as far as working together once more? I I would seriously I would seriously. Um, First of all, I have I have no apology because I have no idea what I did to him to to end the relationship. But as a man myself, I would say, hey, um, I'm in your corner, a thousand percent. I love what you're doing, fighting the very best. I, that's my mantra there, right? You know, fighting the very best and you know go after the best tough fighters. Um, you've been doing it for a long time. Um, you know, whoever you choose, Cinco de Mayo, I mean, all the power to you. But if we ever have to work together, I'm, I, I'm respectful. I, I, I respect your career. Uh, all I want to do is make the best fights happen for the people, for the crowd, for the fans. That's what it's all about, making those fights for the fans. Did the New Thank York media guys. take you uh, by surprise and the attention that, the feedback that you got, given that Ryan hadn't had a major fight in New York? What, what, what Ryan doesn't know is that his numbers are bigger in New York than they are in LA. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the reason why this fight is in New York is because you become a coast-to-coast -coast champion. You become a world global star. So there's 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 a there's you know behind behind the thought there's a madness you know that I, I think of and you know I take a look at the history of the sport and who fought in New York who made it who's the biggest you know so imagine the winner fighting this fight and winning becomes a global star that's the bottom line